Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Monday and I have new, and by new I mean, in this case, fairly old music for you. Uh, but I would expect most people haven't heard this. Uh, this is Mint Royale. Not exactly sure how to classify them as a, as a band. Uh, this is the blue song. And the reason I know about this song and this band is because Noel Fielding, who's one of my personal, you know, like comedy heroes, TV heroes, uh, he's in the video. And uh, so I wanted to do it. It's a fun song. It, it really kind of reminds me of this song in particular, kind of reminds me of like Fatboy Slim. Uh, and I may do Funk Soul Brother. That, that may happen. Uh, Christopher Walken's in it. It's great. But I wanted to do this one. Um, so we'll get into it just a second. But before I do, first, got my coffee. Second, I'm wearing a Being as an Ocean shirt today. Um, and third, my two caveats. One, I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. I'm not a vocal coach. If you're expecting high-level analysis, you can get that, but not from my channel. My channel, we're, we're doing vibes mostly, all right? So don't be frustrated. If you're looking for something more uh, in-depth, you can get that, just probably not here. And then number two, uh, don't be a dick. You may not like this song. You may not like me. Uh, you may not like how I react to things, but I, I try to be really thoughtful and respectful when I go through songs. So I just ask for a little bit of respect in, uh, in the responses. I'm happy to chat, happy to hear what you have to say. If you disagree with me, that's all fine. But let's just keep it, you know, above the belt, all right? And with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. This is Blue Song by Mint Royale. Is this the place? Yep, this is the place. How long? Two, three minutes max. Could you be a bit more specific? Two and a half to three minutes. You can call it 2.45. 2.45? No, more. 2.54. Okay, 254. Nick Frost is in this too, I forgot. And you got a watch? No, Simon Pegg. I better read too No, good. Nick Frost. Okay, you got two minutes, 54 seconds from now.
find that was more like three minutes. I love that song. I I love Noel Fielding, man. What a so many positive things to say about Noel Fielding. He's a very attractive man. I am a huge fan of his uh, style, his willingness to sort of, I don't want to say gender bend because I don't know if that's a, exactly appropriate, but his willingness to wear, um, let's say, non-traditionally masculine clothing. Uh, his boots, right? The shiny, sparkly, high-heel boots that he wears. He wears the caftans. He just wears... He wears whatever. He wears stuff that's, you know, made for him by designers, but he also just, he just dresses like he wants to dress. I respect that a lot. Um, I am somebody who believes personally that you should embrace, you know, what you want um, with, some, with some limitations. I am not generally somebody who says you should go get whatever tattoos you want because there is a time and a place for that sort of thing. And there are a time and a place for certain tattoos. Um, if you start getting tattoos on your face and on like your knuckles, you know, that's going to affect how people perceive you. It could affect the kind of jobs you can get, but I don't give a shit what you do with your piercings or your nails or your clothes or your hair, do whatever you want. Shit grows back. You can change it at, at any time. Um, and so I like that Noel has just embraced that and he just wears whatever. He has some of the coolest outfits that I have ever seen. Um, both in the Mighty Boosh and then in his, you know, personal life. He also is really somebody that should be in a band, you know? Like, I know in the Mighty Boosh, they had a band. Obviously in this, he's in the video. He really seems like he ought to be the lead singer of a band. He just has that kind of personality and, uh, and personal style. And then he's, he's super funny, very creative, and, uh, I haven't heard anything for him to be canceled for yet, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, this song, though, right now that I've done done my Noel piece, this song is so catchy. It is a uh, it's very much a song that I could imagine being stretched out to like eight or ten minutes in um, in like a German club uh, or or a British nightclub. But Germans Germans love to stretch out um, like house music. And I could hear that beat in the back just being, you know, fuzzed up and played at about 1 a.m. when everybody's already on ecstasy. Um, and then you just loop the chorus or something. That's a good song for that. Uh, I really like this song. I think it's a lot of fun. It's catchy, you know, as he mentioned. It's about three minutes long, so it's not a, not overly involved. doesn't require a lot of your time. Um, the lyrics... I don't think they mean a whole lot um i don't have the blues no more i said so uh, that's good doesn't have the blues anymore um yeah i mean mostly i just wanted an excuse to do this song because i think it's fun to uh to see noel fielding in a music video i think he's great in it um and nick frost i i completely forgot he's in this video i don't believe he's in mint royale um but yeah, so this is a blue song by Mint Royale. I enjoy them. I have one of their albums. Um, it's not necessarily the kind of music I listen to on, a, on an everyday basis, but I'd be willing to do another song from them if anybody was, uh, was interested. I'm going to probably put this in a few of my videos today, so you can probably skip ahead 30 seconds if you've already heard this. I think very soon I am going to start a Patreon, and I was thinking about what to do in terms of like rewards for tiers. And I think I have come up with a solution. At the, let's say, the $2 tier, right? That, that'll be the, the entry tier. Uh, access to the Discord, which currently there's no demand for. So that, that is a access to a place that nobody wants to go. It's like getting a free ticket to, uh, to a movie you don't want to see. But I think that's fair. A um, little something extra for people. At the $5 level... I think I will let you, every $5 patron, I will do a song that I used to like that is embarrassing. Uh, maybe it's that the band is embarrassing. Maybe it's that the song itself is not very good. Or maybe it's just that I'm embarrassed that, you know, I used to be into this particular style of music. Um, and then the third tier, I think, 
I think at the third tier, you can pick all of, either you can pick one artist for me to do four songs from for one day, or you can pick all four songs that I do for one day. I think that's fair. Um, so I, I, I haven't instituted that yet. I don't have a Patreon yet. You know, I'm just sort of thinking about these things. Um, but I, I would not, I, I, I kind of want to see if anybody will uh, pay for my opinions. And if they will, then that'll be fun for me. And if you uh, do start paying for it, then that kind of that kind of makes my decision-making process about what songs to do a little bit easier, right? If I have to start doing these old songs that I'm embarrassed by, stuff like that, uh, that limits the number of songs that I have to pick. Because like I'm picking these songs almost every day. Like I need to find four songs to do. Or I was going to do this song on Friday. Got to remember to do it on Monday. So if we get that done, then uh, that'll make my life a little bit easier. So again, I'm not, I'm not instituting this yet. Um, it's just a thought. Thank you all for watching. Uh, have a nice day, everybody. Uh, be safe out there. Be nice to each other. And uh, drink lots of water.